Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this starry fine Christmas bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use lobster's claw class and a jump ring. You could use other type of class you like. And here I use fire line that is 0.17 millimeters. And you could use 0.15 if you want. Uh, or you could use nylon thread, but don't use monofilament for this project. It won't look good with monofilament. Okay, and here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is 60 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back, and in my first step, I'm going to take four green beads, like that, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. And then I will make one more knot and pull again. Okay, and then I'm going in the following green bead. Take one green and go here through the following. One more. Okay. And I will do this two more times. I'm just adding green beads be between those four green beads that I Add it in the beginning, okay, one, only one, and I'm going here through this green one, okay. Now I'm going through this green here, and I will start my next row, and for my next row I need three goldens, go into this green bead that's sticking out, just like that and pull three more golden beads and go here like that pull tight and I will repeat this two more times Okay guys, now I have this. Now I want to go through these three golden beads in this direction. Just like that. Okay, and here I will add just one golden. Like that. go through the following golden take one go in this direction and pull and I will add two more goldens here where the greens are
Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I'm going to take three red beads, three of them, go here in this bead that's sticking out, three more, go in this bead that's sticking out and pull tight. Then I'm taking three more, go here, three, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And now guys I have this and what I'm going to do next is go through this red bead that's sticking out here and I need to add five goldens. You see I have five beads here, five golden beads and I'm going through the one that's sticking out. Okay like that. Five more goldens and I'm going through the following that's sticking out, five more, okay, going here and now guys I'm going to continue this off camera adding five everywhere and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And when I pull I have this and now I will make an additional step and I will make an additional thread pad. Okay, here I'm going through two beads. I'm skipping this one that's here at the top and going through the following two and if you can also through the red one. Okay, so I'm skipping this one here and my goal is when I pull it in this direction and pull tight to have something like an angle. In this way you won't have these strange forms and you will have beautiful form, okay? And then I'm going through these two beads, skipping the one here at the angle, going through the following three beads, pulling, and I'm pulling this one at the angle, okay? And I'll show you one more time and I'll let you do this by yourself until the end of this row, okay? Skipping the one at the angle, going through the following tree, and now this is what I have, okay? I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm making my last angle, going through two beads, skipping this one that's here at the center like I did before, going through the following three beads and now guys my goal is to exit through one of those angles. And these guys will be the first element of my bracelet. And here, that is why here I'm going to attach my clasp. And in order to attach it I'm going to take three green beads I'm going here through my clasp like that, sliding those down. This is what I have. And I'm going to take three more green beads. Slide those down as well. Okay, now I have this. And what I do is that I go here in the other direction through these golden beads, okay? Then I want to reinforce this joint and in order to do this I will go back through all of those beads here at least one more time. Okay, you could do two times if you want. 
especially if you're not using um, fire line but nylon thread it's better to reinforce more times I think with the fur line two times are enough okay so now I'm going in this direction and I'm exiting here at the golden okay and now I'm going to make a knot and I will cut my thread, okay, and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started my knot from and I pull. And then guys, what I want to do is go through the following seed bit. Okay, go through the following. Pull tight. Okay. And here you could cut your thread. Okay guys, and now the first element of my bracelet is ready. And I will make one more element and I'll be back to tell you how to connect this one to the following. When you make your next element, don't cut your thread. And uh, I will show you how to connect both of those. Okay guys, and I just did another element and I still haven't cut my thread with this one. I, and I'm going to show you how to connect it to this one, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is go at those opposite beads, okay, uh, those opposite angles here and connect those two angles, okay. And I'm going to do this by taking one green bead, going here in circle through this one, then Taking one more and going back through this. Okay. Now I have something like a loop between my angles. And when I pull, I have this. Then I'm going to reinforce it one more time. Okay, like that. Okay. And now what I want to do is connect the next angle. And in order to do this, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction to reach the angle. And I'm exiting out of here. Out of this angle here. Okay, like that. And I'm going to take one green bead, go back through this golden, and one more green, and go through this golden again, like this. Okay. And then I will go one more time here through these two golden beads okay like that then I will go through these three make here a loop go once Go second time through this loop I've made, pull, then I'm going through the following seed bead and I will cut here my thread and I will continue making more and more elements the same way I showed you and connecting them and when I'm ready, when I have bracelet long enough, I will be back to tell you 
uh, how to finish it. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I have seven elements and I just connected the seventh one here. And what I want to do is go through all of those beads here in this direction and attach my jump ring. Okay, and what I want to take here are seven green beads. Okay, and now I have my seven here. And I'm taking my jump ring like that. And I'm going here in the same place that I'm exiting out of. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to reinforce this joint one more time like I did in the beginning. And after that, I will make a knot and I will cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. Okay, guys, and now my Starry Christmas bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me